All right. Um, well, this uh, this is a test with uh, with some aluminum mylar uh, laminates. Um, well, a bit like a magnet pen, I guess. Uh, it uses a rubber magnet, so very cheap. Uh, you cannot see them because they're in between the aluminum. But uh, I get finally after several years of searching for um, this stuff, I should be getting some aluminum on polyester, which I assume is mylar or, uh, well, maybe it's not mylar like the brand mylar, but it's polyester uh, nonetheless. Uh, laminate with aluminum on it so I could make some tests and hopefully it's useful because it's quite a, a mound of material <laughs> so I hope it works but uh, yeah well and hopefully we can make some more of this kind of contraptions because it sounds well it sounds quite nice this is of course a very tiny panel and also not push-pull which should help on the efficiency uh, department a little bit and distortion as well probably but this is just a proof of concept. I once uh, made something like this similar, but without etching and stuff. Called it was called the um, cheap man's uh, magnet planner tweeter or something. I don't know. Plays full range, which is uh, can handle much. Power, of course. If you see what Magnetan did with tuning their membrane, if I push my finger on it, I will uh, increase the resonance and extend because it drops already now at I think 400 Hertz but slowly but I can extend it like for instance to 250 or something just by increasing the resonance and using this as extra output You can see you lose the very low end. Of course, this tiny panel is not capable at all to produce that low on the proper level. So, by tuning it, you can at least boost the frequencies. It should still be able to produce. That's about it. <laughs>